Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Star Wars Empire at War. And I totally forgot that we just captured Bothui, which gives us intel information, or tactical information rather, for nearby systems, which means we can hear and see all of our enemies' movements. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna launch a quick attack here on Ryloth, since it looks like they don't have any... Space defenses. They have a level 3 space station and that's it. I can't get directly to Geonosis from Huda. No, I can't. So that's good. So this is gonna... Let's attack space first. Uh, we'll consolidate forces a little bit here. And send these guys in. Um, it's just a space station, so I'm just gonna auto-resolve. Let's see what we lose. Alright, we didn't lose anything. That's good. Alright, then we call in our troops. Let's actually, we'll do this. We'll do a ground battle. I know ground battles aren't the most exciting thing in this game, but Ryloth. So, mountainous Ryloth rotates uh, so slowly that its rotation is equal to the length of its orbit around the sun. One side of the planet always faces the sun, the other's uh, habitable areas are on the band of twilight. Oh. What? Oh, one set. Whatever. I totally screwed that up. Anyway, half of Ryloth is always day, half is always night. I know that's how it was in old canon. I don't know if it still is that way anymore. That'd be an interesting thing to look into. Well, we can't see anything. Let's see. We got sandstorm. Heavy wind and sandstorms have reduced rocket accuracy by 50%. Alright, so we don't want to use rockets if we can at all avoid that. So instead of calling in our rocket troops, let's call in some more tanks. We definitely want to bring in regular infantry to take over these build pads. Oh, these dudes even use rockets. Derp. Okay. I'm gonna build a, re a repair pad. And, um... Might as well just build an anti-infantry turret. Oh, they got Twi'lek dwellings? The Twi'leks are bad? Why would the Twi'leks be bad? Oh, they're neutral. Okay. What the heck was that? We just got EMP'd. Well, that's slightly unfortunate. That must have been like a hyper... Was that a... Oh, we could roll these guys over? Heck yeah. That's dark side AF. Look at this. Oh my god, that's so brutal. Let's go. Keep going, keep going. Oh my god, that's a freaking turbo laser. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Let's get our infantry up there. Fall back to the repair station. We can get our infantry right up beneath this thing. It can't target that low. And they just shred it. Alright, we're going for the shield generator. We got a bombing run. Um, which can't penetrate this shield. So we can either take out this, or if we can find the power generator, which is probably somewhere else on the map. But we can just walk through it. Let's get these build pads. I'll bring my tanks up now. Run away! There's a barracks. Alright, so we want to take that out. Oh, yeah. Artillery. Oh, man. That stuff's brutal. Let's get up close. Oh, no, my dudes. So many dudes are dead. Yeah, they're not going to be able to take that out. Hopefully the tanks can get in there and screw them up. Go, tanks, go. Go, tanks, go. Go. 
No tanks, no! No tanks, no! Get over there! We've been defeated? How do we... Because I didn't bring in any more units? But we still had units! What the heck? That's weird. I didn't know that's how that worked. Alright, auto-resolve. <laughs> yeah, they had a Magna Pulse cannon. That's what was attacking us, and that's what EMP'd us. We lost quite a bit of stuff. Okay. So, Geonosis, they actually do have a couple of space defenses. Uh, we'll do mostly credits, but we'll also do some vehicle and infantry factories. So what was Ryloth's bonus again? Yeah, Stormtroopers in the Galaxy gained 35% health. So all of their Stormtrooper units just lost 35% health because we captured this. That's so good. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Let's see which either Tatooine or Geonosis is less defended. Tatooine is way less defended. And that'll cut off a lot of their bouncing back and forth. Alright, let's attack Tatooine. Again, it's just a space station fight with ground troops in the in orbit, so auto resolve. We got to uh, we gotta start building up our ground forces again. Oh, Hutta actually can have a couple more things on it. What do we want to build on Hutta? We already have a vehicle, that vehicle factory. So let's do an officer academy. We could do this. What is this? A hut palace? Builds bounty hunter, minor heroes. Structure can only be... Alright, might as well build it there. I'm not sure what the bounty hunter heroes do. I forget. Why is Mon Mothma rolling around with an A-wing squadron? Let's put that in there. Okay. We'll build some ground units down here. Constructing unit. Construction complete. Build some ground units over here. Actually, this is full, so we'll put those in orbit. And then build some ground units. We'll go back to Kashyyyk. Build the level 4 space station. Build some ground units back here. That is so annoying. I wish I could disable that. I might as well just keep pushing with our space forces. Geonosis has some defenses, right? Yeah, alright, let's play this out. I mean, there's no way we lose. <laughs> right? <laughs> now that I said that. Ooh, hypervelocity gun on the surface. Okay. Was not ready for that. Dude, how we're going to lose this freaking assault frigate already. Fine. Have this one. Alright, we lost our Y-Wings already. We gotta bring in some reinforcement Y-Wings.
Oh, we lost all our A-wings, too. It's fine. We'll just bring in our last Y-wing squad. Alright, we want to make sure these guys are within range to fire missiles. Oh, there goes our assault frigate. I'm actually. Let's try bringing in more marauders instead. Since we still have two Nebulon Bs up here. I'm gonna get this Tartan Patrol Cruiser. Okay, good. We still have... Is there still a Marauder down here? What is this? Oh, it's right here. Derp. I could not see that at all. No! Alright, we're doing alright. Look at this, these- I- freaking- why did I never use these in the past? They're so good! Except this one, who seems to be just kinda... doing nothing. Uh oh. Alright, see, you know what? There's actually something to be said there about using um using cheaper ships, because then when that hyper velocity gun goes off, like Yeah, it's basically one shotting my Nebulon Bs, but they're just Nebulon Bs. It's not like they're expensive. As a rebel player, I feel really bad about having that sort of logic. Alright, whatever this ground unit is, like, it needs to die, <laughs> and these things can't hit it. It's too fast. We need to bring in the Corvettes. There we go. Alright, that was Geonosis. More ground invasions are in order. Construction complete. Reporting. Reporting. Moving to coordinate. This is gonna be a heck of a ground fight. What do they have down there? Reporting in. Reporting. All right. Let's do it. I have a feeling this is going to be a mostly ground battle oriented episode. Oh, they have Geonosians. That's a thing that they have. Oh no, we have Geonosians? The Geonosians oppose the Empire? That's pretty cool. I guess that makes sense. Oh man. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be a show. Build pad. Oh, let's get these build pads. We can get in here, right? Get these build pads. Get them up. Get them up. Oh, that's an AT AT.
No! No! Alright, dudes. Fight fight the real fight. You can do it. Alright, here's all our dudes. What do we got? What do we got? Let's start making groups. We, we're gonna basically just use the Gene Oceans as fodder, which is really unfortunate, but, I mean, we don't really have a choice. Um, just build anti-infantry, anti whatever. Alright, let us capture this. That way we can raise our, uh, our reinforcement limit. We're gonna have bombing runs here in a bit. What if we our Geonosians just rush this ATAT? -AT? Attack! Dude, they might be able to kill it. Strength in numbers. Holy crap. Alright, let's call in a bombing run and see how they do. Meanwhile. We got that. Oh, dude, we almost got that AT, -AT. I'm sending in my freaking air speeders to finish it off. Right, because they don't have any anti air yet, hopefully. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, the shield. They can only hit it when they attack from the right side of the screen because of the shield. Come on, this is it. Yes! Alright, let's pull him back, pull him back. Let's get some more tanks. More anti-vehicle. Oh, that's regular infantry. Whoopsies. Anyway. We capturing this too? Oh, we did. Um, all right, anti-vehicle, whatever. So, we don't want them to take out our hives. Oh, they already did take out some. We gotta watch out for anti-vehicle turrets. That's the anti-infantry turret. So let's bring this guy up here. We'll have the tanks take out the anti-vehicle, or I'm sorry, anti-infantry turret. Oh, they got another AT-AT. We almost have another bombing run. That's gonna hurt. F pull back, pull back. Get our anti vehicle crap up here. Oh, I built two freaking back to things. That's not what I meant to do. Um, these are bombing run over here. This is where our rocket troops are really going to come in handy. Get this. I like that we have the Geonosians on our side because they're just going to keep taking out uh, 
the stormtroopers that are like wandering around. Come on, rocket troops, do your job. Ready to roll. Here's the shield generator. Okay, where's the DTAT? Alright, we got even more reinforcements now. Uh, what can we build over here? I guess, uh, like, anti-infantry turrets are just my go-to build. Get these guys healed up. Bombing run. Do it. Oh, they got anti air there now. It's alright, that was worth it. Okay, so we gotta take out let's let's send our infantry and vehicles in and take out that anti air. I want to see how quickly our rocket troops shred this ATAT. -AT. Ready, rocket troops, do it! Oh my god, that's so OP. That should not be allowed. I mean, the ATATs are supposed to be scary. Going on down here. Oh, all right. Our turret's gonna take care of those. Uh, focus on the barracks. Can they kill this? Nah, the infantry are going to have a hard time taking that out. What else can we attack? Oh, that factory's probably got to go down. That's a heavy factory. That thing can probably spit out AT-ATs. Oh my god, they are! They do! That thing does! Wrap that sucker up. Oh crap, anti-air! Um, what do we want to bring in? I mean, might as well
as well bring in more rocket troops. Can't have too many of those. Let's use the, um... Oh, we have bombing run again. Oh, shoot, I need line of sight. Okay. No, 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 come down here. Okay, so there is nothing down here. We use the, um, air speeders to scout out. Alright, we'll just leave them down here. What is this? Oh, that's something that we could capture. Alright. Rocket troops, go! We'll send the tanks down around the south of this hill. Here's the AT-AT. Forward. Yes, sir. Yeah, it hurts a little bit more to try and take the AT-AT head on, but we got it. these tanks up here. Oh, if we could take out the turret. Let's do that. Focus on the turret. Good, we got the turret. Get that airstrike in here. Go, go, go. Get the stormtroopers. What are you doing? Alright, we lost quite a bit of stuff, but at the end of the day, we're gonna win. Probably could have done better if we utilized the Geonosians a little bit more. But, um, yeah, I guess I'm just not as good at multitasking in an RTS as I used to be. I'm out of practice. Okay, Geonosis, Geonosis, Geonosis is ours. Um, let's just take all of our ground troops over to Tatooine and do the same thing. We'll auto-resolve this. Whoa, we lost. But look at how much stuff we got. Okay, that's not terrible. We're pushing closer. I say, let's try and go for at Ziri. Maybe we can um, bump the story along a little bit. So, so what do we have here? Bounty Hunter. Travel is galaxy undetected by hostile fleets. It can be deployed on enemy systems to find and neutralize minor bounty hunters, minor smugglers, fleet commanders, and field commanders. Okay, let's try building one of those and see what happens. Oh, we're still building T2Vs back here. Okay. What do we have on the surface here? 
Yeah, let's build, um, I guess let's build a bigger factory here. We can build a lot of stuff on Geonosis. Ready for combat. Construction complete. T two B over. Unit in production. Moving in position. Ready for combat. Unit in production. Construction complete. We're just building a bunch of ground troops all over the place. Um, I haven't really used these artillery yet, but let's build some. Our population cap is so high that we can pretty much build whatever we want. Alright, so we got a little smuggler dude. Okay, so neutralize hero. If What if we do... Like, we don't even know where their heroes are. So what if we do, like, a neutralized hero somewhere where there is no hero? Okay, so nothing pops up. Good. But it doesn't use the unit. Very good. So we can use these guys to spy, just like we could use R2-D2 and C-3PO. Uh, maybe not. Oh. Weird. So if I drag him to the surface, I guess I get some information? Maybe this guy will come in handy later. It doesn't look like I can really do anything with him yet. Lol, what? Did I just break the game? Oh no. <laughs> what have I done? Um, okay, in that case, we kind of need to make a push to add Ziri and see what the heck happens. Um, I did not expect that to happen. Okay. I am confused AF. What just happened? Um, right. We're invading Tatooine. Send all our ground forces to Tatooine. We're going to auto-resolve this one. Auto-resolve. Good. So now we own Tatooine. Yeah, we're just slowly pushing forward, taking everything that we can. Uh, okay, let's attack Naboo. Alright, let's do this space battle. I mean, they don't have any forces here, but they do have a level 5 space station. So, it's probably going to be an easy fight, but you never know. See?
Where'd that acclimator go? Oh, it's up here. Dude! Alright, we lost our... We lost our Y-Wings, so... Let's bring in some Marauder Cruiser replacements. We need to get their shields down. Oh no. Sorry, we should be able to shred this acclimator. Yep, now we need to get the hangar. How will they get they got another acclimator? Alright, alright, alright. All right, good. We got him now. So we got the hangar. So no more reinforcements. Now we just have to finish picking apart the station. Oh, this is all for it gets basically dead. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. I mean, it's basically over. And kaboom. Wow, we lost a lot of stuff against the level five space station. All right, not terrible, but not great. Can we invade Naboo? Invasion commences. We invaded Naboo. All right, minimum losses. We'll regroup our ground forces over Geonosis. We'll have Mon Mothma continue to provide us with a discount. Uh... And that's really all that we're going to do. Um, I think that's probably a good place to end this episode. 
I have no idea what the heck's going on with that Ziri. I could technically build units here, but I'm afraid that if I do, that's going to break the game because what's our objective? That's not our objective. How do I see our objective? Yeah, build a fleet, escort Captain Antilles to Adziri. Mm, Alright, maybe it's fine that we own it. I don't know. I do tend to break games, though. So we'll see what happens when we actually bring him there. But now that we've disrupted uh, a lot of the Empire's planets around Bothui, so I guess really we only have visibility over this range of enemy systems because now we can't hear... All right, we, so we can hear them when they leave Ariadu, but that's about it. So it's not nearly as annoying as it once was. And thank God for that. Uh, what, what is this? Infiltrator Academy. All right, let's build it. And we'll make sure Naboo keeps getting space stations built on it because they can have level five. Very good. I think we're all right. We're doing so much better now than we were in the first playthrough. All right, but I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Mobius one here, and I'll see you in the next one.